Uh, we have appointed by Newsmax.com our friend Joe Schwert, who is standing by with more on this lead story and other stories uh, at Newsmax.com. Joe, what strikes you most about this Supreme Court uh, decision coming down? Well, as you said, uh, uh, John Bachman, and uh, uh, good afternoon, or good morning, uh, J.D., it was a 9 nothing vote, which is uh, pretty definitive, obviously, and it really does severely cut back on the power of the White House, White House has to uh, fill these uh, senior government posts. Uh, as you said, John, uh, these are posts that would normally uh, require uh, Senate approval, and the president has been bypassing uh, that um, process and uh, appointing them uh, directly. The, the court ruled that the, it, it, I guess they were more definitive as to what constitutes a recess. So there is still some recess power available to the president, but not nearly as, as much as uh, had been interpreted by the White House previously. Joe, you're not uh, subject to recess. You're hard at work on uh, Newsmax.com, the website. As we look down, uh, uh, other stories there internationally, a story we've been covering today here, the continued unraveling of Iraq. Uh, what are we hearing from our foreign policy experts that uh, those at our website have encountered? Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one thing, J.D., is that you won't find anywhere on the web a, a more um, spirited debate as to what to do with Iraq. Uh, you had uh, earlier uh, Fred flights from Lignet talking about, uh, you know, the, the uh, effectiveness of drone strikes. We've had others who say that, that drone strikes uh, should not be effective. Uh, so you, you will find a very spirited debate um, throughout, um, throughout the day and throughout the um, at this crisis about what uh, the United States should do in Iraq. Uh, I think it's very clear, though, that uh, definitively people have said uh, that we pulled out too soon, we, we left too much to chance in Iraq, and now we're paying the price for it. Well, Joe, another thing that uh, caught our attention here as we continue to look at the stories shaping the news today is, is this GAO report, the Government Accountability Office, saying that here we are almost two years after the Benghazi attack in which killed U.S. Ambassador Chris Stevens and three others. U.S. diplomatic outposts and compounds are still not safe today. Uh, was this pretty pretty confusing and uh, shocking to you to hear this? Uh, well, I don't think so, John. I mean, I, I, I think once again we have, uh, we have failed to deliver answers as to uh, what happened in Benghazi, what, uh, what was done, what was not done, and what we can learn from that situation, and I, th I think some of the um, some of the debate we've had, and some of the um, the difficult difficulties we've had getting answers about Benghazi, has really uh, made it difficult to determine uh, the best course of action moving forward as far as, far as how to protect our uh, consulates and and our uh, and our diplomats uh, overseas. So I, I don't think this is really a surprise at all. And what about Biden's remarks about gay marriage? Uh, well, you know, the that's thing stirring about up quite Joe a debate. Biden, you know, the thing about Joe Biden is you just never know. Uh, you, you just never know when he when he opens his mouth what uh, what he What's might. What's going to come out, right? Even the president says that. Yes, and and he has said things to the president actually in in, in private that um, uh, that have been ca caught on open mic. So it's. Uh, it's really no surprise that Joe, Joe Biden has uh, stirred things up with some of his comments. Yes, if memory serves, there was a comment about Obamacare and how big a certain type of <laughs> deal it was, and uh, we won't use that description here on this family broadcast. But uh, you know, uh, you, you recall that JD. That was uh, that was one of his more uh, more um, visible or more audible, I guess we should say, faux pas. And also very telling about that was the look that President Obama gave to Joe Biden in reaction. Uh, very telling. But, Jay, we were uh, Joe, we were talking about the, the gay marriage issue. And another big story on Newsmax.com is the fact that this is increasingly looking like it's going to go to the Supreme Court for a final decision here. Again, Utah throwing out a ban on same-sex marriage. The, uh, the city of St. Louis today issuing four marriage licenses, thwarting the, uh, or basically, you know, saying we're not going to listen to the Missouri ban as well. Joe, you think there's any well, way this is not going to be settled by the Supreme Court? I, I don't see it. Uh, I mean, one state after Indiana, Indiana also um, True. Yeah, Indiana. had a ruling regarding uh, a gay marriage yesterday. It just seems that state after state after state, it's being, it's being cut down. 
uh, it's, it, I, I don't see any, any way that it won't get to the Supreme Court. And, and frankly, it, I would imagine that the, the gay marriage will be the law of the land at some point in their future. Well, it Joe Schwartz with a direction. prediction of where America's jurisprudence is headed in terms of opinions. Uh, Joe, we well, think it was all... does seem headed in that direction, J.D. Well, it does. And uh, we, we, one thing about it, Joe, we will be monitoring that story and more in the days to come. And we will see if your legal prognostication uh, holds up. But we do appreciate you <laughs> taking a look at some of these stories uh, trending for us at Newsmax.com. So you heard from Joe. Yeah. We took a look around the website. What do you think are the major issues? If you had to define the issue that concerns you the most, why don't you do so? Tweet us your comments and concerns at Newsmax TV, hashtag America's Forum. There's also email. Our address is connect at NewsmaxTV.com. And let's not forget Facebook, y'all. You can get to us Facebook.com slash Newsmax. Our faces coming back after the break.